We'll move there. Uh, anyhow, so meanwhile, while I was busy fumbling around, uh, it's Dusty was fighting the good fight down here. Uh, you can see him just totally kicking ass and taking names, uh, just as as a function of all of his vet vetted units and that sort of thing. Uh, you can tell that he's uh, his level is just rocking out here. So. Uh, unfortunately, getting caught in this Fatherland HMG team fire here and a single grenade. And look at that nice split there. That was completely accidental, but all of his troops managed to s just kind of scroll away in the right directions. And a uh, grenade goes off, uh, taking out all but one of the Katsumari's Volksreinders. So still continuing to fight kind of bitterly over the central area here. And uh, now I'm repositioning for an attack here. I know I've got my anti-tank on the road. He's got his anti-tank on. We've got a bit of a standoff here. And uh, I'm just kind of poking around trying to see if I can draw out any fire. Because I know there's a stug around here somewhere. Again, I haven't upgraded this Greyhound armored car because, frankly, I'm saving my munitions. And <laughs> I don't think it's going to last that long anyways. I know it's terrible, terrible. But uh, putting some pressure on this building at the very least, kind of forcing him to react. I really want to shoot that thing down. And by now, with all the reactive shots, uh, it's taken enough casualties. You can see we have some beautiful... Uh, attacks going on here right now. We've got uh, a sticky bomb going off in the Stugs. Uh, by the way, it looks like I'm chasing away these Bargain Volksgrandeers. Oh, Bargain Volksgrandeers, what are you doing? Getting into the building just in time for the building to go down. Oh, and they're all completely killed here. And now Wilson's riflemen are charging up the hill to take this stuff out. Uh, by the way, check this out. We do have a little bit of uh, infantry on Stug action here. I really love this. He's uh, sticky bombing up the place here and uh, charging forward and just constantly, constantly moving into enemy territory, taking out these fuel depots, all this sort of stuff. Uh, looks like our Wilson's riflemen are bravely charging up the hill, trying to take out a single engineer manned machine gun and now turning their hatred towards this uh, pack, which is also, it looks like, manned by engineers. And uh, Wilson, uh, Bazooka Joe here taking some shots. But let's watch down here. This is far more interesting. Double sticky bombs on the Stug. Stug has a destroyed engine and is immobilized. Meanwhile, the rest of these uh, Vet 2 riflemen here are just flanking around here, trying to be annoying. Um, looks like uh, just kind of uh, messing around here with this Stug, looking to get the last long-range sticky bomb. You'll note, by the way, Vet 2 riflemen have a... Uh, have uh, extra extra uh, sticky bomb range and look at that they take out the stug using only sticky bombs uh, i don't even know why this guy uh fitz has got his accomplished level one stug out here uh when he did have vet 2 research for the stugs would mean they had uh, you know mg42s and that sort of thing so uh that's kind of a, a, a bad choice on his part uh but for the meantime check it out man it's Dusty is rocking out down here. He's got mines on the ground. He's getting his Cali in uh, 200 manpower. Uh, I hear that and I think, oh, I'm only, I'm like a level and a quarter away from that. So it's Dusty is definitely carrying all the weight here, getting all the kills and that sort of thing. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just kind of being defensive here. Need to move out a little bit, but I know that there's tanks around here trying to play with that sort of stuff. Again, okay, uh, this time I have no excuse. Never do this. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't get the 50 caliber machine gun first. That's just stupid. Always get armored skirts first. Um, and that sort of thing. So, up here in the north now. Oh, Bazooka Joe, be careful! Bazooka Joe, get out of there! No! Bazooka Joe! Oh, RIP 2010 through 2010. Uh, meanwhile, we do have... Okay, so here's my plan. Uh, I saw this situation happen, and just in a moment of glory, I got a vision, and I said, Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fire up my... Uh, I'm going to fire up my uh, armored bounty here. I'm going to kill a bunch of pioneers, and then I'm going to hunt this guy down with my HVAP rounds, and uh, I'm going to just make sure that I totally wreck uh, this Oswin Flak Panzer. So charging on in here. we got HVAP rounds. Okay, gunner killed. Okay, that's not so good. Oh, wait a sec. I don't have armored skirts on either. Okay, it's okay. I'm just going to charge. I'm just going to charge and take... Ow! Oh, my God! Ah, quick! Retreat! Retreat! Okay, so... Again, don't do that. That was a bad move. That was a bad thing to do. <laughs> Anyhow, we do have these really baller uh, Vet 3 riflemen here by It's Dusty. You can see he's got 26 kills and uh, just great map control right now. Lots of vetted riflemen. Uh, you can see I relied early on with hero units and he relied early on with plain old riflemen. And as a result, late game, he has uh, tons of Vet 3 riflemen. And I think that's always a great way to go. Uh, stacking up veterancy in the long run is a lot better. Uh, Anti-tank gun, got to get out of the way here. It looks like anti-tank gun was able to do some serious damage to that Austin Flak Panzer, but now is completely covered by these survivalist grenadiers who've got their, um, I believe they have elite armor and they have an MG42 and that sort of thing. Getting out of the way, oh no, coming in, coming in with the rest of the infantry right now to try and uh, defend, the <laughs> try and defend this poor anti-tank gun. The anti-tank gun goes down. I am moving the other one up to make sure I've got something to take care of that. Uh, that Ostwin, which I do believe was completely taken out. Actually, I believe a parting shot took that thing out. Now just kind of exchanging some close combat here. But we will see that the Sherman Calliope is now on the battlefield here. You can see that uh, it looks like It's Dusty is just doing a fantastic job cornering these guys into their base. 
Uh, meanwhile, I'm just kind of, you know, playing footsie up here with these people, taking heavy cover when I, where I can, and just kind of hoping I can take out these grenadiers. Uh, all that's looking pretty good. Uh, but for the time being here, it looks like this Calliope is just going to chill out here and just put serious pressure on this base. Uh, you can see it looks like uh, Fitz is getting something out of his Sturm Armory. I'm going to take a peek here just so I can see his production here. He does have yet another Stug coming out um, and that sort of thing. So i going to move on back here and change the map back to its original point of view. But you can see now our map control is looking a lot more dominant. We have a huge, huge central control. Uh, have Dusty's side of the map has completely pushed these guys all the way back into their base. Uh, we pretty much own everything out here, and uh, now that I've reinforced and blobbed up, it looks like I've got a big assault plan for the northern positions here. So, that's looking pretty good. I like where that's going. Oh, we do have a nice looking Calliope shot going all the way into this base. Unfortunately, there's no units there, but that's not a bad first pick. But check this out, this Vet 2 Stug comes out, and right away it's getting knocked down to approximately 50% hit points just from a bunch of random Calliope shots here. So, that's a great way to begin any encounter. Uh, and now, oh, oh, did I click the button finally? I hit level 6, and I didn't point this out, by the way. I was floating about 1,000 manpower just a moment ago and the reason for that was specifically because I knew I was going to pump out two calliopes back to back. There's a little bit of a cooldown between calliopes but uh, I kind of like if the game is if the game gives you the you know the opportunity you can see kind of the pressure has relieved a little bit uh, so I just started saving up instead of spamming out more anti-tank guns or more infantry I said I'm just going to save up and spit out two calliopes because right now calliopes are exactly what the doctor ordered. Uh, there's only a light amount of armor out there, lots of infantry, so that's pretty much what we needed. Oh, anti-tank gun getting sniped here. It looks like this Stug is just bumping right into this Sherman Calliope, and you can see uh, it's really taking a lot of damage because it was so wounded at the very beginning. Meanwhile, we do have a surprise attack by these stormtroopers. Check out the mines. Somehow they avoided them. Oh, and now they step on the mines on the way out, taking a single casualty. Rest of them getting done here. Notice, by the way, that this uh, anti-tank gun was being sniped by this sniper, and uh, very quickly, it's dusty. Uh, runs kind of a, uh, just a covering shield of uh, riflemen in between the anti-tank gun and the sniper, just to make sure uh, that they didn't pick that off. And with a combination of Sticky Bomb and the Sherman Calliope, uh, he's able to totally take out that Stug, drive all these guys back. There's a single sniper just sticking around out here, and uh, that's about it for him. You can see for the meantime here, I'm moving on out. Uh, I've got all of my riflemen hanging out here, a little bit of fire going off, and I just figured, yeah, you know what? That's not the best shot ever, but I'm just going to take it and try and uh, buy myself some time. Uh, armored, armored Bounty is up and Clive is taking care of these guys. And you can see the combination of units right now. Uh, these guys took some serious damage. Browning automatic rifle fire, hand grenades, all that sort of stuff going off here. And for the first time ever, I'm seeing a bunch of Vets, Vet 1 Knights Crossholders uh, just die like they were pioneers. I couldn't believe that. That looked really good. So uh, suddenly now with all of these uh, calliopes on the field, you can see one calliope down here, second calliope now out for It's Dusty. This is what everybody hates about armored players. I'm sure that there's going to be uh, responses to this thread being like, oh my god, calliopes are so OP. Oh. And like, yeah, man, they're great. I love them. But, uh, you know, we were very weak early game, uh, that, that's for sure. And uh, now that we have Calliope's out there, or at least at least I was very weak early game. I'm not going to speak for It's Dusty. He was clearly uh, taking names. But uh, for the time being here, it looks like we've got a pretty solid control over this map here. Uh, I'm going to see here uh, Riflemen out here. By the way, these are my Riflemen Army items. Uh, for this game, I had uh, Accuracy, uh, Decreased Damage, Sight Range, and Sticky Bomb Range. I changed that up a little bit now and then. And oh my god, we've got the Cloak Stormtroopers opening everything up. <laughs> look at that. Oh my god, look at that. They've got... Uh, oh no oh all the riflemen go down uh so unfortunately stormtroopers very effective against infantry if they get to jump on you and now i'm starting to feel a little bit nervous because i know there's cloaked stormtroopers around here somewhere and i know i've just got a bunch of calliopes out there uh you can see me dropping a mine here in the middle of the road i know any attacks are probably going to come up this side of the hill meanwhile just trying to encroach as much territory as i can and uh, pretty much, you know, do some damage there. But uh, I know these guys are around here somewhere, and I'm trying to move in, and I really didn't expect them to attack over the fence there. I thought they were going to go for this guy. You can see right now I'm uh, opening fire on this group of uh, grenadiers. I, I just know that uh, at this point in the game, uh, they've got so few units that any time I can kill an entire squad or, you know, most of it, uh, it's a pretty good use of time there. So luckily I do have my uh, Gladiator Riflemen right on the scene here. And uh, even with them being Gladiator Riflemen, you can tell... Oh, nice Panzerstreich shot there, taking out this one individual here. Uh, let's take a look around here and just make sure that it's Dusty is uh, taking care of stuff. You can see he's got his units nicely spread all across the center of the map. At some point he's going to take control of that. Uh, maybe even I will. Nope, I think he's going to get that. 
Uh, but we are able to chase these guys away. It looks like they were trying to cap this point sort of desperately, uh, but we're able to kind of move them around here. You can see this uh, Panzer just moved up the road here, hit the landmine, and was immediately greeted by a HVAP wielding uh, Sherman Calliope here. So stuff is looking okay. Stuff is looking okay. I've got a far back anti-tank gun just in case anything breaks through like Austin's or whatever. Uh, and as you can see, oh my lord, oh my lord. Okay, so out of nowhere, uh, we get a gigantic tiger and uh, <laughs> Ostwin combination here. So, what do we do? We both panic right now. We're both just like, oh my god, tiger, do you have Do you have a Persian? Who's got anti-tank guns? Who's got what? What's out there? I don't know. And so we just, basically, we just panic right now and fumble around. And uh, we just try our best to get this done. You can see we've got some sticky bombs going off here. Uh, uh, Calliope shot landed. I uh, did some pretty decent damage out here, but now we're just getting kind of jibbed by all these guys. I'm forced to retreat with these dudes. Uh, we are getting flanked a little bit here by Grenadiers. HVAP rounds are up. Double Calliope now are both just firing away with HVAPs, and you can see even uh, this re uh, rear anti-tank gun is taking some pot shots off. And I'm, you know, the, our two Calliopes now are like, oh, excuse me, sir, uh, pardon me, can I, can I get through? No, you go first. Anyhow, that's not looking good at all. Activating the auto repair and taking out, it uh, looks like the, uh, King Tiger now is taken out, and uh, <laughs> look at this! Look at all this fire going on here. Austin Flak fans are now being shot by HVAP rounds, uh, taken out by the anti-tank gun. And right now, I'm just thinking, yes, I am king of the world. Somehow, I managed to take out all the. And in my celebrations, I failed to notice once again that, dear lord, we have a another reactive artillery going down. And I unfortunately, I clumped up both Calliopes. Never do that. Oh my god, direct shot on the first Calliope. You can see I split them up. I at least took my advice from previous games. I split them up and moved them in two different directions. And of course, uh, this very wounded Calliope never gets out of there. And uh, my other Calliope, who is just barely trying to get out of here, uh, bumps right into that wounded Panzer from before. I activate the HVAP, but honestly, I have no hope of getting this guy out of here. And bam, reactive artillery takes out both of my Calliopes. Uh, so this is a gigantic oh shit moment where I had just been king of the world and now uh, I have nothing. So thankfully, It's Dusty has got my back once again. Look at this, even a single landmine up there. I love that. It's Dusty has got my back once again, calliope this whole area and kind of retreating everybody. And I had been saving up anyways for a Pershing, so I just went ahead and spent early and got another calliope out there. So... Um, Things are looking okay. That was pretty much the one hope that our opponents had at this time in the game. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the replay just a little bit here to make sure that we can make this fit. But, uh, man. <laughs> so, uh, pretty much at this point in the game, all we need to do is make sure that we maintain the contain. Whoops, I paused there. I meant to slow it back down again because we have a little bit of action here. Single grenade going off. Oh, almost taking out this anti-tank gun, but it looks like it's okay for the time being here. Uh, meanwhile, these riflemen are moving out. Sherman Calliope is moving out, and we have a nice little contain going here. So, uh, Panzer is getting repaired a little bit. Uh, I'm curious to see if I do anything in particular with this Sherman. Uh, but uh, at this point in the game, we have, you can see here, by the way, I haven't been following the action all in this base, but pretty much with every spare cycle, It's Dusty has just been colliding that whole base, and uh, uh, poor Fitz has lost his entire base. So that really, really, really has slowed them down. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up right into the end, because as you can imagine, oh god, but no, not before a Calliope comes in the base here. <laughs> so Calliope plus Armored Bounty, I really do love that. It is a really, really brutal ability here. Uh, it looks like uh, It's Dusty now, I believe. If I, if I recall correctly, he thought, oh yeah, that's a great idea. Moves his Calliope up onto the ridge here and just decides to pour in yet more shots on top of all of this. You can see just taking constant casualties. And at this point in the game, we have absolutely uh, just crushed our opponents into the base here. So we're just kind of waiting for them to tick down at this point. A little bit of a uh, little bit of firing going on here. Not too much problem. Uh, looks like uh, they're trying to grab this anti-tank gun. We're going to take care of it. Moving up the infantry, that sort of thing. Uh, getting ready, and I believe they do kind of line up here, like they're trying to get on out of the base. And uh, that's when we have uh, maybe one last final shot here. So a few more troops coming out. But other than that, uh, here we go. Calliope shot, taking everybody else out. Just get back in there. Just making sure everybody stays inside their base until this game is over. And the game certainly is over. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is just a random ladder game between me and It's Dusty. Again, I'm no pro or anything like that. But if you did enjoy it, please feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, uh, thank you. Good night.